Imagine the following situation. You are an astronaut on a space station when suddenly, the impact of a piece of space debris puts your stay in space at risk. With the growing number of launches into Earth's orbit, this concern is becoming more and more real. Because of this, the development of projects for orbital cleanup has been gaining traction, and surprisingly, some have already succeeded in capturing inactive satellites in space. That's right. Not long ago, engineers managed to catch a satellite in Earth's orbit using a net. In today's video, we'll explore how this incredible feat was possible. With so many satellite constellations being launched, there is a real concern that Earth's orbit could become impassable. The Kessler syndrome describes just such a catastrophic scenario. Proposed by a former NASA scientist in 1978, this hypothesis suggests that as space debris accumulates, collisions between these fragments could create even more debris, exponentially increasing the risk of further collisions. This ongoing cycle could render certain regions of Earth's orbit unusable for satellites and space missions in general, threatening essential services like communication, navigation, and even weather forecasting. The risk posed by Kessler syndrome increases with the rise of mega-constellations of satellites, such as Starlink. To mitigate this issue, some space agencies and private companies are developing projects aimed at capturing satellites in orbit, especially those that are no longer functional and are simply drifting around Earth. To give you an idea, it is estimated that there are at least 7,600 tons of space debris floating in space at this very moment. Still don't believe this is a real problem? According to statistical models, there are approximately 40,500 pieces of space debris larger than 10 centimeters, about 1.1 million fragments between 1 centimeter and 10 centimeters, and an astonishing 130 million particles ranging from 1 millimeter to 1 centimeter. These numbers highlight the growing concern over Kessler syndrome, which could become a serious threat in the coming decades. To avoid collisions, corrective maneuvers are frequently performed, even by the International Space Station, where astronauts live full-time. In fact, collisions have already occurred with the ISS itself. But why isn't there a definitive solution yet? Despite existing projects focused on removing debris, space junk management follows specific protocols regarding satellite lifespan. However, these procedures are not always strictly followed and accidents can generate even more fragments in orbit. Until a global effort is made to address this issue, the risk of cascading collisions will only increase, threatening not only space operations but also the essential infrastructure that depends on satellites in Earth's orbit. This growing concern over space debris has led to the development of dedicated cleanup missions, and the Remove Debris Project is one of the most remarkable in this field. Launched in 2018, this European experiment aimed to test different technologies for capturing space debris in low Earth orbit. During the mission, it successfully demonstrated debris capture using both a net and a harpoon. One of the most impressive experiments showed how a net could be used to capture space junk. The test, conducted in September 2018, was recorded on video and showed the precise moment when the net was deployed toward a simulated target an inactive small satellite positioned a few meters away from the main spacecraft. Onboard cameras captured every detail of the operation, from the moment the net was launched to its expansion in the vacuum of space. The net, made of extremely strong and flexible material, rapidly unfolded, stretching out as it advanced through space. With no atmospheric resistance, it fully expanded before impact. In a fraction of a second, the net wrapped around the deactivated satellite, contracting around it and effectively immobilizing it. The high-speed launch was a key factor in the test's success. The video clearly shows the net closing within seconds, preventing the target from escaping and ensuring an efficient and secure capture. As the mesh tightened around the object, small weights attached to the edges helped secure it, keeping the debris locked in place. This mechanism prevents space junk from continuing its uncontrolled trajectory in orbit, reducing the risk of further collisions. With this successful experiment, the Remove Debris Project validated a technology that could be used in future space cleanup operations. Another equally interesting experiment conducted during the mission involved the firing of a space harpoon in February 2019. The spacecraft tested a system designed to capture metallic debris quickly and efficiently. 
The video of the test shows a small metal target positioned in front of the main satellite. The harpoon was then fired with extreme precision, piercing the object with just enough force to secure it without causing excessive fragmentation. The onboard camera captured the exact moment the harpoon pierced the target, creating a visible but controlled impact. The projectile, equipped with hooks at the tip, firmly attached itself to the material, ensuring that the debris would not break free. Unlike the net, which wraps around and immobilizes debris, the harpoon provides a more direct approach, making it ideal for capturing rigid metal parts, such as decommissioned satellite components or rocket stages. The success of this test reinforced the feasibility of using multiple strategies for removing space debris. While the net is better suited for smaller or irregular objects, the harpoon is highly effective for capturing larger structural components. A combination of both technologies could play a crucial role in future missions, allowing for precise and safe removal of any type of debris. In any case, we now have a chance to clean up Earth's orbit, ensuring that future space technologies can safely reach space. As an astronomy enthusiast, I find the topic of space debris both fascinating and deeply concerning. The idea that Earth's orbit could become so cluttered with junk that future space missions might be at risk is something we can't afford to ignore. The Remove Debris Project is a great step forward, showing that innovative solutions like nets and harpoons can help clean up space. However, the real challenge lies in implementing large-scale efforts and getting global cooperation to prevent the problem from escalating further. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think space agencies and private companies are doing enough to tackle the space debris issue, or should more urgent action be taken? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button below. See you next time.